science was around me, but it was always something that was, I thought was not part of me. Um, and it is so fantastic to see actually that artists and scientists are actually very similar. Aran Berg is a circus director, but not the kind you'd think. He's combining science and art in innovative ways with a circus of knowledge at the Johannes Kepler University in Linz, Austria. Prior to its creation in 2022 by Rector Meinhard Lucas, there was no department for theatre or music at JKU. One of the dreams that they had was to create a place to communicate the science into societies. And they created a theatre space where we do theatre for all ages. But they gave it the wonderful title of Circus of Knowledge. And a Circus of Knowledge needs a circus director. The incentive to bring scientists and artists together revolves around the opportunity for researchers to discover new ways of communicating and engaging a wider range of people. They are curious by nature. They research topics that are important to them. They try to come up with answers and they present them in different contexts. The curiosity to discover things and to explain our world is equal to both. And that's the fun part. And what I'm allowed to do at the Circus of Knowledge in Linz in Austria is to connect scientists who research, teach and work and their students and connect them with artists that are also open-minded and excited about doing things that they're not used to do. Then we transform that into a production that can be, has a music in its center or theater or dance. And then we present it at the Circus of Knowledge. And those projects are many and varied. So we do a series of uh, what we call kamishibai. This is a Japanese paper storytelling. Mm -hmm. And we go to schools and kindergartens, or they come to us, and we tell them the stories of women scientists. We have a wonderful shadow puppet play about the life of Johannes Kepler to introduce him to people. We took a 100-year-old play called Rossum's Universal Robots by Karl Chapek, who is a Czech expressionist. Mm -hmm. And in that play, the robots turn against the humans that build them. And that was written in 1922 and start to kill them off because they don't need them. So we adapted it for today and what robots can do today and the whole notion of artificial intelligence. Another project called Sparkling Science aims to spark a sense of curiosity and passion to do research through citizen science. We created a very big project where artists and science students work together in school classrooms and they create little presentations but it's not a play and they, they can present them in their schools or in the circus and that's over three years. Students are also involved in the qualitative research uh, how to evaluate the project like this. So the sparkling science project of the Circus of Knowledge is actually connecting citizen science and what I also call citizen art. Because in all the participatory projects that I do, the participating citizens are called citizen artists. Because I'm very interested in, if we go into a room and we say we're all artists, then we're all equal. We just bring different experience and different knowledge to the table. So we have professional artists, we have in these cases also professional scientists, and we have future artists, these are artists who, who study, who are maybe in a studying art, and future scientists, students of science. And we have the citizen scientists and artists all working together and all bringing their know-how, their experience, their passion, their questions onto the table, and they create something together. And it's in these collaborative efforts that I also see where innovation can take place. <laughs> 